What's up, YouTube? We got a yo-yo review to do today. This is the Rain City Skills Looney. So, Looney, what's a Looney? Uh, a Looney is like Canadian, it's a Canadian coin? I don't know, I'm not Canadian. But uh, this is a lovely, tiny little brass yo-yo. Um, super pocket friendly from my good friends over at Rain City Skills up in the Great White North. Canada's not up, but it's it's in the, they're in the Great White North of Canada. Um, and uh, this is the first teeny tiny yo-yo that I've known to come out since, what was the last yo-yo factory one, the heist? This one's made of brass. So just to give you an idea of how tiny this bad boy is, here it is next to uh, the, uh, what is this, the hashtag? The tiny one that uh, Yo-Yo Freaks did. Yeah, it is super tiny comparatively. Look at that. So tiny. Uh, it's about... Do I have any coins? No, but I have a ring. It's about the size... It's a little bigger than a wedding ring in diameter. Uh, let's get into the specs, shall we? So the width of this Yo-Yo is 26 millimeters, which is tiny. The diameter is 32 millimeters. Weighs in at 65.4 grams with a size A uh, center track, flat track bearing. Um, it plays a little heavy on the end of the string, but I feel like it's more capable than a Mighty Flea. Uh, a Mighty Flea was actually very frustrating to play. I still think it's kind of frustrating to play. I'd say this plays somewhere on point with about with, with the heist. Uh, it's a great tiny little yo-yo to throw in your pocket. And it comes in only at $36.99 for tiny yo-yos made of things that aren't aluminum. Uh, this is made of brass, like I said. That's actually a pretty good deal. I want to say the Mighty Flea was like $65 or something back in the day. Like, So tiny yo-yos made of steel or brass or whatever generally aren't this cheap. So if a tiny yo-yo is like tickling your fancy and you're like, I don't know, I don't know. This is probably a good place to start because usually tiny yo-yos are more expensive than this. And this one's actually pretty capable as far as all of uh, that is concerned. So, um, other than that, let's let's take a look at it here. So it is sort of just like an unpolished brass. I believe mine is sort of a um, prototype version of it. Uh, the Lego hub does, the Legos don't fit on mine, but the actual version that you go buy, that one, will the Legos will fit. So Lego hub will work on the actual version doesn't fit on this one which is actually pretty cool because you can put those like finger spin ones on there and they fit in perfectly and then you can actually finger spin this bad boy according to Jeremy uh, so that's pretty cool you could probably almost uh, my thumbs probably too big but you could probably pinky grind if you had like a really skinny thumb there's kind of a thumb grind lip in there as well so kind of a cool design uh, let's go ahead and throw it around a little bit I'll show you guys what this thing can do all right guys we're back with the loony First thing you notice is that it is a capable little yo-yo. It's kind of hard to hit on the string because, of course, it is. It's tiny, but it's not. It's less frustrating than the than the Mighty Flea was, uh, in my opinion. I probably have this string too long. My chair too close. So you're gonna want to shorten your string a little bit. You're gonna to want to use a thinner string too, but you don't have to use like Mighty Flea string, which is nice. I believe this takes normal size response pads too, but I'll show you guys when we open it what that looks like. But uh, as far as the playability is concerned, it grinds very well uh, for a teeny tiny little yo yo. You could definitely do it. Um, the uh, brass is sort of brushed, which is kind of cool. It's a good look for it polish mine up with some monkey butt. It's kind of, it's wide, it feels wide compared to like how big it is. It's kind of a nice little organic shape. So it's nice on the catch as well. Uh, it does play a little heavy. I don't think you can really get away with that. The whole yo-yo is made of brass. Uh, it's really more, I think, of kind of a novelty experiment than anything else. But it's, like I said, uh, it feels very capable. And uh, if you practice, if you practice a lot with it, you you'll get pretty good at it, and you'll get pretty good with it. I know it's kind of hard to even see on camera because of how tiny this thing is, but 
been thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it, because it's, it's kind of a challenge, but it's not so much of a challenge that it's frustrating. So that's cool. Um, like I said, you can figure spin it if you get Lego hubs to fit, and I think they come with it. It definitely thumb grinds a little bit. Like, if you have smaller thumbs, my, I have kind of stupid sausage fingers, but even I got it to thumb grind a little bit, there's a little lip in there. So, uh, I don't know. Like Ollie could probably do it. Spin times aren't bad. First thing I thought when I threw it was like, oh my god, it's gonna wobble all over the place and have graphic spin time. It really doesn't. Spin's okay, I can get through a trick. I can catch it on the string. So, very capable, like I said. Uh, grinds are fine. Thumb grinds are doable. Decently long spin time. It's actually really smooth, too. For a tiny little yo-yo made, made of brass, this baby is like, nah, it's like almost butter smooth. Like it's really good for like a raw yo-yo. That's about as smooth as raw yo-yos get. So uh, I, I really think this is cool. It's not like gonna be your favorite like competition type yo-yo, but if you like tiny yo-yos or you just like things that are cool like this, like little I don't want to call it gimmicky because that means it's like, it sounds like it's bad or something. It's not bad. It's it's really fun, very capable, and uh, just kind of a neat little trinket to add to your collection. Super, super pocketable too. Check this out. It's like I, it's like I got nothing in my pocket. It's amazing. Perfect for that. It's not even that, not that heavy either. So uh, very cool. Let's go stick it back on the desk. I'll take it apart. We'll show you guys the insides. All right, guys. We are back with the Looney. All right, let's talk about the packaging here, because Rain City always does good packaging. With this one, you get a sticker. You get a zip-up wallet that I showed you. That zip-up wallet actually has chocolate in it. It's like a little chocolate coin. Uh, you get some trading cards. I got coffin in my trading co cards. Uh, so uh, that's going to be a collector's item at some point. They're like Pokemon cards. Um, and it's just a really nice unboxing experience. For like 37 bucks or whatever this is, it really is like, it's a cool package. I was skeptical at first. Admittedly, skeptical at first. It's capable. It's cool. It doesn't play bad. It's pretty... It's pretty fun, and it uh, fits in my pocket. Cool. It's it. It was a neat idea that I think was executed very well. I don't know if I want to see like ten of these a year, but uh, the fact that one of these comes out every free, few years or so, definitely okay in my book. And uh, for 2019, this can be the one. So, uh, kind of a cool like small center track bearing in there. Very smooth. Spins very nicely. Uh, no complaints there. You got the uh, the white Yo-Yo Empire pads. Very cool there. Uh, came apart nice. These are regular size pads too. So whenever you replace the pads, you don't need special pads. You just use the regular size pads. If you want more response, less response, whatever. It's great for that. Uh, came apart real nice. It was machined very, very well. And it's very durable because it's brass. So not going to be... it. it that, that, that machining's nice. That's like... Does that like one drop thing? It's got a nice long axle too. So this is gonna be a, you can bang around your pocket. You bang around on things, and uh, it's gonna just hold up and be good. Um, very capable, like I said. Let's do pros and cons. Pros, capable, tiny, not that expensive. Usually, gimmicky tiny yo-yos like this usually cost a fortune. The fact this is only 37 bucks, I really like. Um, capable of just about anything you can throw at it. Now you have to be, it's it's harder to do things clearly with this yo-yo than it is with a normal sized yo-yo. It just, it, that's just, it's just gonna be that way. I still think it's cool. Comes with strings, great unboxing package. Um, cons, you know, I kinda would've preferred a blasted anodized version. I don't really like the way raw metal feels on a yo-yo, but that's really more personal preference. It looks cool and I feel like if I buff it up, it's gonna look real cool or because it's solid brass, it'll patina. That's cool too. Uh, it won't patina like copper, but it'll patina a little bit. So that's cool too. Um, you know, Lego hubs are fun. You can add fun things, uh, including like that little Lego finger spin thing, which will actually let you get good finger spins on those, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, just a neat idea overall. Uh, like I said, I don't want to see 10 of these tiny yo-yos every year, but uh, for 2019, and this is the one, uh, I like the way Rain City did it, and I think they did a nice job with it. Cons, this is a harder yo-yo to play. Any tiny yo-yo is. Uh, grinds aren't fantastic, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, 
Man, other than that, there's really no cons. I, I mean, it's a good price if a tiny yo-yo is kind of a thing that you might be interested in. This is this is probably the most affordable and most capable one I've ever tried. You know, uh, you'll spend twice this, or almost twice this, getting one that's kind of meh, that's been out for a few years. But this one's pretty solid, and it's brass. Look how good it looks. I'm just looking at it, and it's kind of taking my eye as it shines in the video playback. But anyway, check it out. There's links down in the description. Shout out to Jeremy for this lovely little, lovely little, little thing here. Um, check them out on raincityskills.com. Uh, if it's something you might be into, this is a cool thing. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you. I'll see you next time.